This economy is booming right now with new manufacturing plants, many under construction. Yeah, but tonight there are new questions about whether our state is, has enough trained employees to fill thousands of new jobs. New at 5, Atlanta News First, Abby Casoris shows us how the state wants to prepare you. The state's technical colleges play a big role in getting workers trained for these manufacturing sites. Take North Georgia Technical College, where students rarely graduate without a job lined up. With the touch of a button and a flick of a switch, Matthew Brown is able to transform metal into something that will hold your car together. When you think of anything being made, I mean, from the most basic of things like small car parts, nuts and bolts and things like that, this is where it starts. These automotive manufacturing students are in demand. Brown's employer, auto parts manufacturer Herring Precision, is helping pay his way through school. Well, I'm a single father and I raise a six-year-old little girl by myself. She's excited. She um, She's learning a little bit with me. She's like, what do you do for work, Daddy? And I'm like, well, you see this piece of metal? I can turn it into anything you can imagine. The 22 technical colleges in the state will play a crucial role in readying a workforce for companies like Hyundai, Kia, Rivian, and SK Batteries. In the last year, economic development projects in Georgia created more than 30,000 new jobs. These are brand new state-of-the-art facilities that are running, you know, highly uh, automated equipment um, and needs highly technical, not only technicians, but operators. Georgia state lawmakers are working through the summer and fall discussing new ideas, possibly starting the training process even earlier while still in public school. It's important that we start to give people an opportunity to understand how to take either the skills they already have and translate that into a different trade in a different position um, or for young students to really allow them to know that there are multiple tracks that they can go on. Halpern says the billions of dollars invested will be for nothing if we can't find the workers. The study committee will hear from experts on the topic of workforce development. Georgia's largest industries are manufacturing, aerospace, automotive and food processing. In Clarksville, I'm Abby Casoris.